Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial and today I'm gonna talk to you about SQLite with Godot. If you want to connect your Godot project to a database, then SQLite is a very good choice for you. And today I'm gonna show you how. So as you can see I have this project. I'm gonna start with creating a scene by clicking on 2D node. You can choose whatever node you want, it doesn't matter at all. We want to save it. And up here we have asset library, click on it and type SQLite. As you can see, I have two choices. I'm gonna go with Godot SQLite for too shady for you. Click on it, download, and click on install. And with that, we have successfully installed the framework. Now go ahead and attach a script for the node we've just created. I'm going to start with an empty script and rename it to data connection. Now here I'm going to create a constant. So const SQLite equal to preload and we are going to select this path that ends with dot gd and s and with that we have preloaded the asset into the memory and now i'm going to create a variable called db this will have our database and another variable called data path and this will have the path for our database file but first of all we need to create a database and for this i'm going to use a tool called db browser you can download it from this website I'm going to leave a link in the description for it. So click on download. And now you have four options. I'm going to go with the 64 no installer version, but for you, you can choose whatever version that suits you. Now in the download folder, we need to extract this zip file, extract here. And in this folder, we scroll down to DB browser for SQLite. Double click on it to open the tool. And now we can create a new database by clicking on new database. And we need to save it under the resources folder of our project. So we need to navigate to this folder. This is my project folder. I'm going to save it here and I'm going to give it the name of data. Click on save. And for this database, I'm going to create a table that have a list of players with an ID and a name. So here we're going to create a table with a name of players. And I'm going to add an ID. This ID is an integer, not null, primary key, auto incremented, and unique. And we're going to add name which is a text click ok and now i'm going to add some information into this table so go to browse data and click on this little icon here and i'm going to add a player with the name aldo for example and another player with the name of elon so Going back to Godot, the path is going to be resources data. And now in the ready function, we need to create a new database. So db equal to SQLite dot new. And we need to set the path for this database. So db dot path equal to data path from our variable now what if you want to print some information from the place table for this we need to create a function called print data and in this function we're going to start by opening the database so db dot open db
and we need to write a query so db dot query select all from players now for i in range 0 to db dot query result dot size print db dot query result with the index of i now we need to call this function in the ready function so print data and we run the project now as you can see you have printed the players table information into the output now what if you want to insert some data to this table you can create a function called insert data I'm gonna give it a parameter of name which is string and again we need to open the database so db.open db and we need to write a query so db dot query we are going to insert into players we're going to insert a name and we are going to put our parameter here Now in the ready function, we call insert data and I'm going to add a new player with the name of Chris for example. Now we run the project again and as you can see you have successfully added a new player with ID3 and the name of Chris. So everything works fine and with that we have finished this tutorial. I hope you learned from it. Thank you very much for watching and see you all later.